Hello everyone. Uh, the video that I'm uh, creating today is going to be very useful for all the parents. Uh, it will be very useful for the NRA students who are planning to go to India for engineering in private institutions. It is also very important for all the Indian stu uh, students who want to study engineering in India. Uh, I did some research before sending my child there, uh, so I just want to sh share, uh, you know, the research with you, so that at least you have some some data uh, available in front of you before you make uh, any decisions. Because these uh, decisions are very important. Uh, we should not make uh, these decisions by just talking to people. You should do your own due diligence before sending your child there. So what I've done is uh, before I sent him uh, to India, I actually did some research uh, for uh, top uh, uh, 10 engineering colleges, uh, private engineering colleges to be precise, so that you know I make my decisions uh, properly for him. Uh, so what I've done is during my research, so I found out, okay, let's not do for 10, let's do it for top eight. And then that's what I did. So uh, after doing my research uh, uh, through their websites and through uh, you know common websites available in India or elsewhere, uh, eight engineering colleges uh, basically or universities you say I have shortlisted and these are actually top eight uh, in entire India. Uh, 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 so basically the ranking is provided by NIRF which is National Institute of Ranking Framework where they give ranking to uh, engineering colleges or universities uh, based on many factors and this includes uh, uh, government colleges as well as private colleges. So the ranking that I'm go going to tell you is amongst all the engineering colleges irrespective of whether they're government or non-government. Okay, So it will help you uh, uh, send your child to the top private universities in India. So when I when I when I drop down you know the ranking system so I found eight private uh, universities or engineering colleges in India amongst all the colleges uh, so there are eight I'm just telling you uh, VIT Vellore uh, is one and university is one uh, Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham another one SRM Chennai MIT International Thapar Institute of Technology Kara Salingam Academy of Research and Education and Manipal University. So these are top eight private uh, uh, universities. So I'll just give you a rank, uh, uh, what, what all rank they have at the moment. So the ranking of VIT Vellore is ranked 12 in India. I think only two, uh, forget about IITs, IITs are top ranks. Uh, so only two NIT in front of VIT, one is NIT uh, Trichy and NIT Suratkal, rest all NITs are below VIT. So in that uh, front, uh, VIT Vellore is pretty good. Uh, Anna University is rank 17. Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitham rank 19. Uh, SRM Chennai rank 24. MIT International rank 25. Uh, Thapar Institute of Technology rank 28. Uh, Kala Salingam Academy of Research and Education rank 39. And Manipal rank 55. Uh, so this is the overall ranking that they have. What I've done, it'll, it'll, it'll be much easier for you to understand the full perspective is I have done a ranking based on the placement, uh, you know, all the students got after passing out from these colleges. Uh, the ranking is uh, basically done based on uh, the number of students. I'm talking about the percentage, uh, how many are uh, placed and the ranking I've done based on the salary they receive. Okay. So, for example, uh, uh, let us say VIT Vellore. VIT Vellore placement ranking uh, means percentage of students that got job. The, you can say the placement ranking uh, for VIT is six. Uh, Anna University placement ranking is number seven. Uh, Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam ranking number three. SRM Chennai is ranked number one. So SRM Chennai is ranked number one in terms of placement uh, as far as the percentage of students got uh, uh, job. MIT uh, rank 5, Thapar Institute of Technology rank 4, uh, Kala Salingam Academy of Research and Education rank 2, this is fantastic, and Manipal uh, uh, is rank 8. Now if you if you take uh, uh, the placement ranking in terms of salary, uh, VIT Vellore is rank number 2, 
uh, Anna University rank number four, Amrita uh, Vishwavidya Pitham rank six, SRM Chinde rank eight, MIT uh, rank seven, Thapar Institute of Technology rank one. So basically, uh, all the students that are passing from Thapar are getting actually more uh, annual package than rest of these uh, seven uh, colleges. Uh, Kala Salingam Academy of Research and Education rank five and Manipal rank two. So Manipal, even though the ranking of Manipal is 55, but the salary uh, after passing out from uh, uh, these uh, from, from this uh, college is, is pretty good. So rank two. So I just want to give you one more uh, uh, aspects of it. Uh, means, uh, you know, the percentage of students that have uh, basically either got the placement or went into the higher education. So for VIT Vellore in the year, so all, all, all this data that I'm giving you is year 2020, year 2021. So the academic year of year 2020-2021. So VIT Vellore 5,294 students passed out, out of which 82% students either got the placement or went into the higher education and the average salary they got was six and a half lakhs which is pretty good uh, then anna university total students passed out is 2103 out of which 64 percent students either got placed or went into for higher education and the average salary they got five lakhs uh, amrita vishwa vidya Peetham, total students uh, passed out 2000 uh, 265 out of which 95 percent students got either placement or went into uh, the higher education uh, average salary they got is 4.45 lakhs then srm chennai total student passed out 4317 out of which 98 percent students either got placement or went into the higher education average salary for four, four lakhs amity 1780 students passed out 83% students either got placed or went into the higher education. Average salary is 4.13 lakhs. Thapar Institute of Technology, 1,626 uh, students got passed. 84% uh, students either got placement or went into the higher education. Average salary they got is 8 lakhs. So, you know, their annual remuneration is fantastic from Thapar Institute of Technology. Kalasalingam Academy of Research and Education, 1,166 students got passed. 97% students either got placed or went into uh, the higher education. Average salary was 4.8 lakhs. Manipal, 2,001 students got passed, out of which 58% students either got into uh, the placement and uh, higher education and the average salary was six and a half lakhs so these these are some important data uh, which i think uh, you should uh, basically churn and, and and try to see how this will help uh, your 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 kid uh, and it will be easy for you to make decisions uh, you know which college uh, to send your kid to uh, so I, I, why I, why I, I'm sharing this video is because I was very curious about uh, you know my kid before I sent it to him uh, I, I sent him to study in India so I just want to share this with you guys and then help you making your decision uh, more appropriately all right guys have a great day bye bye